DC Sweep Analysis. In this exercise, you will sweep the voltage sources attached to a JFET device. When using a new simulation model, it's always a good idea to run some basic checks to ensure that the model is mapped correctly. This will save a lot of time trying to troubleshoot a large circuit that is not working due to an improper configured SPICE model. In this example, we're going to look at a family of curves of a JFET. Locate the design files under startingdesignfiles.zip on the eLearn site, just below the lesson where you've uh, launched this module. And once you extract that, uh, you will be able to do a file open and go to the desktop or wherever you place the uh, design files and open up JFET Project PCB. So here we have a very simple circuit, a single transistor with two voltage sources. And we're going to be playing with uh, changing the VGS and VDS levels and then we're seeing the resulting family of curves as we sweep through that range of voltages. So go to the simulation um, toolbar shown here and we're looking for the setup for the mixed signal simulation. And what we're going to look at uh, this time is the DC sweep analysis. So first of all make sure that is enabled. And you'll notice that there are two groupings of information here that you can enter to specify the type of analysis you're about to do. The primary source is just that, the primary key of changing parameters. And if you go to the value column, you can choose from a drop down list. We will choose VDS. Primary start is going to be zero. Primary stop is going to be five volts. And then a step of 0.1 or 100 millivolts. We also want to enable the secondary sweep voltage source there is going to be the uh, gate source. We want to start of minus 1.4 volts, stop at zero, and an incremental step of 0.2 or 200 millivolts. Now we're going to specify what signals you want to observe. Go to the general setup, and we're going to choose J1 ID, and then just simply click on the right arrow. So that will be the signal that will appear in the simulation. Click OK. We also want to change the SimView setup to show active signals. And then click OK to accept those changes. Now we can run the simulation by selecting the first icon in the toolbar. What we see here is a family of curves for the um, drain current uh, for transistor J1. And each curve corresponds to a different value of uh, gate to source biasing. The very bottom curve is a gate to source voltage of minus 1.4 volts, which we uh, specified uh, moments ago. And then the, the next one up here is minus 1.2, minus 1 volt, etc., changing by an increment of 0.2 volts, which is again what we specified. And then for each one of those curves, we see that the drain to source voltage is swept from zero all the way to five volts. Comparing this to the drain current values from the data sheet, we can see that the waveforms are indeed very similar. If you find this fascinating, open up the instructions PDF file, and for extra credit, you can create a schematic and simulate a sweep of a BJT transistor.